another episode of Wild with the Plots. We are doing a solo trip this morning. It's a little, little overcast, it's a little windy, probably about 10, 15, but not too bad. Today, I'm going to uh, be primarily fishing shrimp under a popper called live shrimp. Stay tuned. came here for nice red Pretty red. 
Looks like it might be an upper slot. Started out a little slow. Been having a little action the past few minutes, so see if it continues.
18 inches. Catching a bunch of red reds and drum, some puppy, some keeper size drum right here in this in this spot. Really looking for more reds and some trout. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna move on, try another little area and see if we can get on a few. picking up bait, pushing up against the rocks. So I like to try to get my, my 
bait right up against the rock and uh just just let it just let it you know work its way down the rocks under the popping cart a lot of times you know they'll kind of grab it and just pull it on a little slowly for the drum reds and trout typically a little bit more aggressive they gonna hit it and it's just gonna shoot that's how i can kind of tell the difference in the fish from the bite drums kind of pull it down a little slower than the ribs in the trout. And, uh, that's typically how I can tell. But sometimes they surprise you, you know. Sometimes the ribs will pull it down a little slow. Sometimes the drum will hit it running. You think you, you, think you got a red on it.
That's gonna do it for the day. Did pretty good. Caught another limited drum. Caught two reds. And one of the reds I caught on that uh, rattle trap, which, you know, for me, that was the first time I caught one on a rattle trap. Nice red, nice slot red, 26, 27 inches. And uh, I say it was a good day, man. I appreciate it. Alright, so got the boat loaded back up, getting ready to take it on in. Ended, ended the day pretty good. Uh, started out a little slow this morning. I was looking for trout, couldn't find them. I tried uh, several areas looking for trout, live shrimp on the popping cart. I just couldn't find them. I don't know, maybe some other guys was able to find them. Uh, I, I was able to uh, catch a limit of drum and uh, caught me two nice reds, which one of them was on the uh, was on the rattle trap, which was the first time that I've ever caught a keeper redfish on a artificial. I've caught several, several undersized ones, and I've caught trout, keeper trout, keeper flounder, even drum, keeper drum on the artificial. But I I wasn't able, I hadn't been able until today to catch a, a, a slot redfish on the artificial. And I got me a, like a 27 inch nice rig on the on the rattle trap. And uh, that was pretty exciting. That was kind of the highlight of my day. And uh, But ended up with a limited drum, two rigs, and uh, caught a bunch of red rigs. It was a good day, I would say. I learned some, found me some new areas to fish. So all in all, I would say it was a good day. It's always a blessing to be able to go out and do something that you love and uh, make working so hard work that, you know, having these moments to to kind of unwind and do something that you really enjoy. And I just want to say thanks for watching another episode of Wired with the Watch. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. See you next time. God bless.